right guys, I'm Stix, Only Video Production, and today I have the pleasure to present you the new Jeff Loomis Signature Pedal by All Pedal. This is the Devil's Triad. <laughs> So this pedal has been built in collaboration with All Pedal and Jeff Loomis. So since this uh, signature pedal, you have to keep in mind that the sound that you can get with this pedal is really specific. So it's a specific sound that really liked to uh, Jeff Loomis because of course this emulates all the kind of sounds he used uh, on Arch Enemy, so on newer Arch Enemy albums. Since probably this video will be demonetized because I play something uh, copyrighted, so something from Arch Enemy and Jeff Loomis, to support this video and support my channel, you can buy a thanks. Really, really simple. You have the heart icon down below and you can buy a thanks and this will be very very appreciated if you really like this type of content and you want to see uh, more so unboxing timp and tricks about mixing mastering recording and stuff like that and also uh, behind the scene about what i've received you can see also youtube video before they will be published here you can join my youtube channel click the join button and you will see the video that will explain all in really really detailed way so today i'll show you how this pedal can sound and i'll show you in different ways so as it is in uh, in right now so i'm using the pedal in front of the amplifier or i'm using also the pedal like a preamp later in this video so i'm using right now the beast rich mockingbird pro x with emg pickups i'm going directly to the pedal in with the the, the first input is called the a input so you are using this part i'm using the drive and the boost which are the dynamic so the dynamic part of this pedal then from the output of this dynamic part i'm going in front of my driftwood purple nightmare amplifier and right now i'm using the driftwood purple nightmare with the distortion channel then the, the the second part is called the modulation side so you have the reverb and delay and these two as connected to the FX loop behind the amplifier. So this is uh, the normal four method uh, cable routing and this is the right way in my opinion to use this pedal. You can also use this pedal like a preamp but I'll show you later in a moment. Then of course after the Driftful Purple Nightmare I'm using the Torpedo Captor X because I want to lower down the volume using the master of this amplifier up so to get really great tone and i'm going then to my custom cabinet right now i'm using two different speakers and two different microphones i'm using the ls208 by lauten audio directly into the vgs the warehouse speaker this is the green barrett really really great then in a lower position i have the lct240 by levitt or Lewitt, as you, as you want to call it, and the microphone is capturing the uh, Reaper HP always by WGS, WGS, so the warehouse speaker. Really great combination. I can show you the differences. So this is the Lawton Audio and the Green Barrett. <laughs> and this is the Levitt. I have also another microphone, it's a stereo microphone, I'm using always the uh, Lawton Audio LA120 uh, in uh, stereo position to mic the room to get more realistic sound. And this is the sound only of the room. <laughs> Combine it all together, sounds like this. So my setup without the pedal sounds like this. I 
have a great distortion from the Driftful amplifier, but I don't have that tight tone. So I'm, use, I'm not using right now the TS, as you can see, is disengaged. I'm only using the distortion of the amplifier without any uh, additional accessories. So this is the sound. <laughs> I, I, there is no so right tightness. So let's engage the drive. As you can see the drive, you have the level, tone, and gain, as always, as all different drive. Uh, pay attention that this overdrive is different uh, compared to the other uh, overdrive because it's specific to Jeff Loomis. And as you can see here, there is also, yes, this is the signature of Jeff, or Jeff Loomis because I've purchased the signature one. Uh, let me say that this video is not sponsored by all pedal or other um, companies. I purchased this pedal and I paid a lot for this pedal because I received also the custom taxes from Italy because yeah, it's, it's really good to live in Italy. I paid 100 bucks more for custom taxes. Okay, you understood. <laughs> so let's engage uh, the, the pedal. Let's start from zero. Let's raise the gain. Also, the noise gate built in in the Driftful Purple Nightmare. Without the pedal. With the drive. Let's crank a bit the gain, but you can start creating too much overdrive. I prefer to use just a bit of overdrive. And then I can try lowering the tone. really open tone it starts to create something distortion like a very old rat distortion I don't like too much I like to use maybe in the middle position just a bit of tone and I can push with the level
it sounds really great and if this sound is not enough for you you can also push with the boost the boost uh, grants you 20 db of gain and also the level of the overdrive you have 20 db of gain so combining you have plus 40 db of gain which is really really insane let's engage <laughs> Okay, now let's engage the last part, which is the reverb and delay. Let me disengage the boost. Let's engage the reverb. Um, you have basically the reverb here and the delay here. The delay and reverb are all analog, so all the pedal is analog, but the repetition of the delay are digital. So let's listen. You can also tweak the feedback. So only one repetition, or you can raise. This is the volume of the delay. You can also disengage the delay with the volume to zero. You can listen basically nothing because the reverb is also to zero. So let's listen only the delay. You have here the time, really, really fast. It's like a spring reverb. As you can listen, it's analog. As you can listen, the sound is analog. It's dark, you cannot tweak the tone here. Let's listen now only the reverb. You have the tone to tweak the reverb to get it really dark. This is long, dark, but, but with more level. Yes, let's open the tone. And you can also tweak 
of course the decay to have a really short room. It's like playing here, basically. Open up. Okay. Longer. It's like basically also a shimmer inside. Really gent. So let's use together also the delay with also the reverb. Okay, now let's change the routing of the pedal and let's use the pedal like a preamp. So let's listen the right sound of this overdrive. So let me change something. Basically, I'm not using the preamp of the Driftful, so I can take away this. Uh, then I can also take away this and this. So basically I'm going with the guitar to the input of the pedal and from the output of all the pedals. So right now I'm using this overdrive, boost, delay and reverb all in serial. So before it was in parallel. Now is in serial and I'm going from this pedal to the FX loop return of my amplifier. So basically I'm using only the power amp section of the amplifier, only for the volume basically. So my preamp will be the overdrive and the boost, basically. So let's listen to the sound. So basically, this is the sound only of my Driftful Purple Nightmare. It sounds really different because it's only the power amp section. There is no the preamp, so it's like there is no an amplifier. It's only the, the section of the volume. So only the resonance and the presence basically, which is here. I have the rumble and sharp. So I can open just a bit the sharpness. This is my drift food. Now let's engage the overdrive section. And now you can listen the overdrive before you listen basically the overdrive that pushed the, the preamp of my drift foam. Now it's only the overdrive section. So let's raise the gain. darker so when you use the pedal like a preamp the sounds will be darker so keep in mind that you have the tone here you can open it keep in mind that now the level and also the boost will behave basically like a, a normal volume so let's not use this. You can tweak the volume basically uh, for, for the amplifier, but will not uh, push your amplifier basically. You basically will raise the volume only. And the same for the boost. Okay, 
let's not race too much because I'm almost clipping right now. <laughs> So this is the maximum gain, so distortion that I can get with only this overdrive because I'm using the Driftful Purple Nightmare only like a normal power amp. Let's engage also the reverb and the delay. guys this is the devil's triad by all pedal signature pedal of jet loomis it's a wonderful pedal you have basically four pedals in one basically box you have the overdrive boost delay and reverb and uh, depending on how you want to use the pedal so like a preamp or like an in front of pedal of your amplifier the sounds will be completely different and also the behaves of the pedal will be completely different because the overdrive will sound different if you use it to push a, a, an already distorted amplifier or if you use like a preamp you will use the overdrive the sound of this pedal and this pedal alone sounds really really good <laughs> Guys, you have the link in the description if you want to purchase this unit. However, uh, this unit is no more available with handmade signature, uh, but you can still purchase uh, the regular one. So if you like this video, leave a comment below. And if you want to support my YouTube channel, buy a thanks for me. It will be really, really appreciated. See you in the next video. Bye.